Hey guys, just give me a minute. We'll get some people on. I'll tell you exactly what's going on. You guys are going to love this. So my arms are reaching through the wall right now to take this picture because as I told you guys earlier, we completely closed off Monument One. So I'm actually, if you take a look, I'm filming through the wall. Take, take a look here guys, just to show you. Here's the wall, completely closed off, okay? Now, what's happening over here is that we have See if I can get this better. These are a couple of the regular coyotes who normally would have drove down to the monument and made their drop and people would have crossed. And But now, because we've got this completely closed off, there's nowhere to cross, um, the cartel's upset. And so what's happening is, is they were trying to force drop people down here, but there's nowhere for the people to go. Uh, the gates on the other side aren't open. Everything's been closed. So now the Mexican police have no choice but to actually pull these people over. So what you're seeing here is the Mexicans are actually enforcing the laws on the coyotes. So those are two separate vehicles full of, full of illegal immigrants that were going to come down here and try to cross that were stopped by the Mexican police. So, you know, you guys have been with me down here for a long time, many nights. Um, we have never seen this before. This is the first time. So anybody who says walls don't work, they're wrong. This is proof right here. And I've got a feeling that there's going to be more pissed off cartel members over here because there's just no, you know, even the asylum seekers. I mean, you know, those guys have to go somewhere where they can step on the property of the United States, but then also they've got to go somewhere where they can get picked up by Border Patrol. So that's what you guys are witnessing there. They're inspecting vehicles as they're coming down. And I just thought you guys might find that kind of interesting because as you guys know, we've really never seen the Mexican police engaging the coyotes. So thought I would show you guys that. Just kind of found it kind of interesting. And I'll give you, just because we're live, I'll give you a little nighttime view of the wall. It's lit up. Let's see up to the top there. Look at the Border Patrol up there. He just loves this. You see him sitting up there? We'll zoom in on him. We've had a lot of Border Patrol coming through, touring the area, hanging out over here because uh, for them, this is a, this is a godsend. So there he is. Look at, he's enjoying one of his new perches. They're still finishing the lighting up to the top, so you guys know. And some of you guys have been making comments about the wall not being high enough or the gate not being high enough. You guys have to understand something. This is a technological wall, okay? If you even start climbing it, you're going to set off all kinds of alarms that are going to notify the Border Patrol. And with the roads they have around here, it's only going to take them 30 seconds to respond. But the biggest thing is, you're not going to drop off a group of 200 people with little kids. They're not going to climb the wall. It's not going to happen. That is the purpose of the wall. It's a tool to, to, to navigate traffic to specific points where the Border Patrol can handle the incoming people without having to chase them through the mountain. And, you know, if you look at the hills up here, guys, I showed you those roads and paths er earlier. That used to be the area where this cartel literally could, could get up there and move their drugs and criminals and, and people that didn't want to get caught by Border Patrol while Border Patrol was distracted with um, people coming in and, and making, for the most part, fake fake asylum claims. So, you know, this, this is a huge, huge defeat to the cartel on this side. 
because what happens over here that some of you may not know is that there's different cartels that actually control uh, each entrance in. You got the Marines right there, the bush with the boat there. Okay. And then I'm going to show you guys something else that's going on over here that uh, just got pointed out to me. The Mexican Marines are over here. Um, you know, again, what they're doing, I have no idea. But we're going to try to get a picture here. You know, I don't know if they're just cracking down or maybe preparing for something with the cartel. Because, like I said, the cartel is very, very upset about this. Hold on one second, guys. We got one. And if you look through here, I'm going to show you guys something. You'll see a Mexican military vehicle fully armed and loaded. Look at this, guys. Okay. They've got to be expecting something. That's military on the Mexican side. So maybe they're afraid the cartel's going to come in. I have no idea. But they've got quite a few of the police down here. <clears throat> like I said, they're stopping the incoming traffic. So that's probably explains why they're pulling vehicles over. You gotta realize, guys, this was a $300,000 entrance into the United States of America. So, you gotta realize that there's gonna be some upset people. And of course, we have our Border Patrol agents sitting up there kind of watching too. Um, but those guys are just coming over here mainly to check out their, their present that America gave them and built for them. And uh, it's just pure awesomeness. There's, there's Athena, guys. Even she likes the wall. She's gotten a bad rap in the fake news, though. They've wrote a lot of bad articles about her. She's a little depressed. As you can see, they're getting real close to the top there, guys. I mean, the concrete's almost completely done up to the top. And they're gonna do some some other final touches. There's our BP hanging out on his perch. Like I said, you see how easy it is now for him to control this entire area. You need one truck. You don't need eight or nine guys up in the hills because for the most part, you know, this has all been flattened so people can drive around and, and see what's going on. And, uh, you know, it's a uh, completely different area. It's completely secured now. Like I said, the cartel's upset, so I think that they're they're really over there kind of preparing for any violence or anything that may happen. Maybe the cartels will start fighting with each other. Um, that may happen. I don't know why the camera has gone. What's going on here? Oh, the camera turned around. That's what's going on. Okay, here, hold on. Let me turn it back around. There we go, guys. Okay, so yeah, so the military's hiding in the bush over there, and then you've got the police, two police trucks that I'm aware of, and um, like I said, everybody has their own entrance into the United States, that's how the cartels get paid. The other side where the bowl is, that's a separate cartel. So this literally, by closing the gate, has upset some people and um, I'm sure that uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, <laughs> that's what the ruckus is all about and that's why the Mexican police and the military with a belt fed machine gun is down here in case they have any problems so um, yeah that's that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys uh, and then I also wanted to make the point about the gate some people were asking me you know, why is the gate shorter than the wall? Okay, the gate's got to be used. Um, and, it, you know, there is access available to the road. But again, you guys have to realize something. You're not going to climb this wall. Okay, you're going to get caught if you're climbing this wall. You're not going to be able to go underneath this wall because it has sensors that uh, detect tunneling. Okay, we have extremely light 
if you see those lights up there, they're extremely bright. I mean, this thing is just lit, it lights up this mountain. Um, you know, so, like I said, this area is, is a fortress now. You're not getting in. And the Border Patrol can manage the area, which is the biggest objective of building a wall, is to allow the Border Patrol to focus on our national security and do their job, their real job, which is um, to uh, patrol our border and keep the people that we really don't want in this country out of the country so that the dangerous people, the drugs and terrorists and those type of people don't get into our country undetected while we're dealing with this nonviolent invasion of asylum seekers on the other side of the of the other side of the coin. So with that being said, um, I'll give you guys another picture of the front because I know some of you didn't see it earlier. Give me one second here. There's the there's the infamous work permits, guys. See, they really do exist. Don't listen to the fake news. They're right there. Okay. So there you go. There you have it, guys. Completely closed off. And the river is filling up. You guys know how how uh, that river was. If you've watched my videos, the river was only, you know, less than a foot deep. So you could run across the river and get into the United States that way because there was no water in it. So there you go. There you have it. Border Patrol can open and close that gate whenever they want, but that completely seals it off. Because then here you've got your, here you got the dam for the river. And look, guys, see the water? You remember one of my videos where they were running across this little area? Well, that ain't happening no more. 